let me introduce you to python have you ever thought about the versatility of a computer how efficiently it carries out all tasks with accuracy and is used in almost every field well a computer is a device to which you can give instructions to carry out the sequence of arithmetic or logical operations automatically these set of instructions are called computer programming modern computers have the ability to follow generalized sets of operations called programs in simple words a program is a sequence of instructions that specifies how to perform a computation these programs allow computers to perform a wide range of task there are some specific languages which are used to write programs these languages are called programming languages examples of some programming languages are python c c++ lisp java php etc the details of different programming languages look different but a few basic operations appear to be same in each one of them input to get the data from the keyboard processing converting this data into information output obtaining the result from the computer arithmetic operations performing basic mathematical operations like addition subtraction etc conditional execution checking for certain conditions and executing the appropriate code iteration performing some actions repeatedly usually with some variations debugging tracking down the errors in the program students let's know more keyword is a special term that conveys some meaning to the compiler python is one of the most powerful high level object oriented programming languages it was mainly developed to emphasize the code readability for which it uses the english keywords very frequently python is considered to be the most appropriate language for beginners due to its simple and clearly defined syntax in this chapter we will learn about the basics of python language first let me introduce you to python python was conceptualized in late 1980s and its implementation was started by guido van rossum in 1989 at CWI Centrum Viscondi and Informatica which is a national research institute for mathematics and computer science in Netherlands in 1991 its code was published and in 1994 python 1.0 was released with new features due to its simplicity and easy syntax python gained popularity and many new versions were introduced with more advanced features in it python is an object oriented language which means that it lays more emphasis on the data or objects rather than the procedures real time objects are considered and worked on in this language Some of the features which make Python so popular are as follows. Easy to learn. It has few keywords, simple structure and a clearly defined syntax. Interactive mode. It supports for an interactive mode which provides interactive testing and debugging of the code. Code simplicity. It is a very simple high level language with vast library of add-on modules. portable python programs can run on wide variety of hardware platforms and have the same interface on all the platforms simple syntax it has a simple syntax free to use it is free to use even for commercial products gui programming it supports gui applications that can be created and ported to many systems Students know the fact that syntax refers to the grammatical rules of any programming language. Applications of Python programming. Python is a popular and easy to learn language and can be used to build a website, develop a game, perform web scrapping, harvesting data from websites, 
Perform computer vision. Facilities like face detection and color detection. Perform data analysis. Automate a web browser. Do machine learning. Giving a computer the ability to learn. Perform scripting. Perform scientific computing. Enable robotics. Build artificial intelligence. Benefits of Python. Presence of third-party modules. Python contains numerous third-party modules that make it capable of interacting with most of the other languages and platforms. Extensive support libraries. Python provides a large standard library that has many pre-scripted programming tasks which reduce the length of the code. Open source community development. It is developed under an OSI approved open source license which makes it free to use and distribute. Productivity and speed. Its clean object oriented design provides enhanced process control capabilities which contribute to the increase in its speed and productivity. Students, let's know more about Open Source Initiative. A non-profit organization dedicated in promoting open source software. Students, let us find out how to install Python. For installing Python, follow these steps. Number 1. Obtain a Python distribution. You can download different Python distributions from www.python.org slash download. For this chapter, we have downloaded Python 3.6.5. Number 2. Python installation process. After downloading the Python distribution, the first and foremost thing is to install the software. Double-click on the downloaded installer software. Click on Run in the dialog box and the installation process starts. Keep following the instructions and keep clicking on the next button. The Python interpreter is usually installed in a standard location slash USR slash local slash bin slash Python 3.6 on those machines which is available. Putting slash user slash local slash bin in your Unix shells search path makes it possible to start it by typing the command. On Windows machines, the Python installation is usually placed in C drive slash Python 3.6, though you can change this when you are running the installer. Students know the fact that object is an entity that has some characteristics and behavior associated with it to which a specified action is directed. Example, book. Students, now let me tell you how to start with Python. After installing Python, you are ready to work on it. You can work in Python in two ways. Number one, in interactive mode. Number two, in script mode. Working in interactive mode. In the interactive mode, the commands are executed line by line, giving the output at the same time. In this mode, the command is typed in front of Python command prompt. For example, if you type 3 plus 6 next to the Python prompt, it will give you a result as 9. Students know that the Python IDLE, Integrated Development and Learning Environment, executes instructions line by line at a time. It can be downloaded from www.python.org. Students, let's know more. IDLE, Integrated Development and Learning Environment. It is a software application used by programmers to develop the code. To work in interactive mode, follow the process given below. Click on the start button, then go to all programs, then go to Python 3.6, then go to IDLE Python 3.6.5. It will open the Python shell where you will see the Python prompt. Type the commands next to the Python prompt and Python will immediately return the output when the enter key is pressed. Students note that interactive mode is very useful for the testing code where you type the commands one at a time and get the result or error immediately. 
Type the following expressions one by one next to the Python prompt and press the enter key after every expression. For example, if you directly want to find the product of two numbers, let us say 3 and 6, simply type 3 into 6 next to the Python prompt. Using print main function. Print main is a function which is used to display the specified content on the screen. The content to be displayed is specified within the parenthesis. Print bracket in double quote in hello world double quote close bracket close will display hello world. Students know that Python is a case sensitive language. It means that Python differentiates between capital and small alphabets. For example, print P capital and print P small are two different entities for Python. Where small p print is a valid command in Python and capital P print is just a word not a command. Let us see through an example. Print bracket in double quote in. Python is an object oriented language double quote close bracket close. Python is an object oriented language. Print bracket in double quote in. Python is an object oriented language double quote close bracket close. Name error. Name capital P print is not defined. More on print parenthesis. We can also pass more than one argument to the print function. In such a case, the arguments are separated by commas. This is shown in the following figure. Print, bracket in, double quote in, welcome, double quote close, comma, double quote in, this is the world of Python, double quote close, bracket close, welcome, this is the world of Python. Print, bracket in, double quote in, 100 into 10 equals to, double quote close, comma, 100 into 10, bracket close, 100 into 10 is equal to 1000. Print, bracket in, double quote in, 5 into 6 minus 10, plus 5 divided by 4 equals to, double quote close, comma, 5 into 6 minus 10 plus 5 by 4, bracket close. 5 into 6 minus 10 plus 5 by 4 is equal to 21.25. Print bracket in double quote in 5 plus 6 equals double quote close comma 5 plus 6 comma double quote in and 5 into 6 equals double quote close comma 5 into 6 bracket close. 5 plus 6 equals 11 and 5 into 6 equals 30. Using ideal as a calculator. To evaluate an arithmetic expression, it is not necessary to use the print function. If we type an arithmetic expression at the Python prompt and press enter, the interpreter automatically evaluates it and shows the result. The interpreter acts as a simple calculator. The expressions are evaluated normally as in any other language with the help of operators like plus, minus, multiplication, division, etc. by using the board mass principle. For example, 29 plus 10, 39. 30 plus 10 minus 20, 20. Bracket in 100 minus 20 into 1, bracket close, divided by 2. 40.0 11 by 5 hash division always returns a floating point number 2.2 Students in IDLE you can press all plus P to repeat the previous command Working in script mode Python shell can be used in two ways that is interactive mode and script mode Interactive mode, as the name suggests, allows us to interact with OS. In an interactive mode, we cannot save the commands entered by the user. The output is also sandwiched between the commands and creates confusion when longer programs are designed. 
there is no code file created or saved that can be used for future reference. Solution to this problem is the script mode that enables us to create and edit Python source file. It is the normal mode where the scripted and finished files are run in the Python interpreter. In script mode, a file can be created and saved for future reference. The complete script is written in an editor such as Notepad in Windows and then the interpreter is invoked with a script parameter. It begins execution of the script and continues until the script is finished. To work in the script mode, you need to do the following. Create module or script or program file. Open IDLE Python. Click on the file then go to new file in IDLE Python shell. Alternatively, you can also press the control plus N key combination. Type the commands that you want to save as a program in the new window that opens. For example, print, bracket in double quote in interactive mode, double quote close, bracket close. Print, bracket in double quote in and script mode, double quote close, bracket close. Click on the file then go to save and save the file with the name program1.py where .py is the file extension. Run module, script or program file. After the Python program file is created, you can run the program by following the given steps. Number 1. Open IDLE Python shell. Number 2. Click on the file then go to open. If the file is already open, you can directly follow the next step. Number 3. Click on the run then go to run module or press F5 key. Number 4. It will execute all the commands you have stored in a separate Python shell window. Interactive mode and script mode. Students, let us have another example of a program in the script mode. Start Python IDLE. Open a new file in the IDLE Python window. Click on the file then go to new file or press Ctrl plus N. Type the following code in the new opened window. Print, bracket in, double quote in. Python is a high level language. Double quote close, bracket close. Print, bracket in, double quote in. Python is an object oriented language. Double quote close, bracket close. A equals to, double quote in, Python, double quote close. Print, bracket in. Double quote in, I like learning, double quote close, comma, A, bracket close. Save the program file by clicking on the file, then go to save or press control plus S. Run the program. Click on the run, then go to run module command or press F5. Python is a high level language. Python is an object oriented language. I like learning Python. Students know the fact that the files in Python are saved with the extension .py. Students, let us talk about basic data types in Python. In Python, a data type determines the type of data that can be stored in a variable or memory. The data stored in memory can be of many types. Python has various standard data types that are used to define the operations possible on them and the storage method for each of them. For example, a student's roll number is stored as a numeric value and his or her address is stored as an alphanumeric characters. Python has various inbuilt data types but we are covering three basic data types. A. INT Integer represents integral numbers, numbers without any fractional part. Examples of integral numbers are 3, 8, 4, 0, 1, 3, 4, 3, 4, minus 5, 4, 7, 5, 5, 4, 6, 7, 7, 8, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5. An integer in Python can be of any length. 
There are three types of integers in Python. Number one, plain integer. It is the normal type integer and occupies 32 bits or 4 bytes to store a value. The range that can be used with plain integer is 21474836482 to 21474836472 An integer can hold positive as well as negative values within this range. Number 2. Long integers It supports the values that lie beyond the range of plain integers. A long integer can hold any long integer as big as supported by the system. This means long integers have an unlimited range subject to available memory only. Number 3. Booleans. Bool. It represents logical values in the form of true and false. In Boolean, 0 represents false and 1 represents true. Students, let's know more. Python is a case-sensitive language while dealing with identifiers. B. Float. It represents floating point values, numbers with fractional part. The fractional part of a floating point number may be 0 also. Examples of floating point numbers are 3.14, minus 48.6, 18967.78. They can be represented in two forms. Number one, fractional form. Number two, exponential form. Floating point numbers can represent integer values as well and have a bigger range of values as compared to integers. Students, let's know more. In Python, floating point numbers have precision of 15 digits, double precision. C. String. A string data type represents strings of characters enclosed within quotation marks. Double quoted or double quote close. Examples of strings are Hello, my name, 218, peace, etc. Python offers two types of string values. Number 1. ASCII strings. The ASCII strings hold the strings of zero or more ASCII characters. Example, Python, hello, etc. Students, let's know more. ASCII strings are also called string type strings because when you check their type in Python, it returns as str. Number two, Unicode strings. These are the strings which are prefixed with letter U without any quote. Example, U, single quote, X, Y, Z, single quote, close. U, double quote in welcome, double quote, close, etc. Type main function. It is used to return the data type of a value. Type 20. Class, single quote in. Integer, single quote, close. Type, 29.0. Class, single quote and float, single quote, close. Type, 10 divided by 3. Class, single quote and float, single quote, close. Type, single quote in 10 by 3, single quote, close. Class, single quote in string, single quote, close. Type, double quote in computer applications, double quote, close. Class, single quote in string, single quote, close. Type, true. Class, single quote in bool, single quote, close. Type, false. Class, single quote in bool, single quote, close. Type, 100 is smaller than 200. Class, single quote in, bool, single quote, close. Students, now let us understand variables. A variable is a named memory location that stores the data and whose value may change during program execution. A variable can store only one data value at a time. When a new value is stored in a variable, its previous value gets overwritten. 
Variables are needed in a program when we have to handle multiple data values and or a data value has to be used multiple times in the program. The assignment operator. Values are assigned to variables using the assignment operator equal to. For example, the statement A equals to 15 assigns value 15 to variable A. For example, suppose there is a statement answer equals to 3 plus 6 into 2 in a program. When the interpreter encounters this statement, it will evaluate 3 plus 6 into 2, that is 15, and assign this value to the variable ANS. Observe the following codes to understand the uses of assignment operators. A equals 200. Value 100 is assigned to the variable A. B equals to 10. Value 10 is assigned to the variable B. P equals to 2 into A plus B. 2 into A plus B is evaluated to 220 and the value 220 is assigned to the variable P. A equals to B minus 5. Value 5, B minus 5, that is 10 minus 5, is assigned to a so. Now the value of A is 5 and not 100. B equals to 8 into 3. Value 15 A into 3 that is 5 into 3 is assigned to B. So now the value of B is 15 and not 10. Print P. Value 220 is displayed on the screen. In Python, we can declare multiple variables in a single statement by using the chain assignment. Variable 1 equals to variable 2 equals to variable 3 equals to variable n that is equal to value 1. This statement will declare variables variable 1, variable 2 till variable n all with value value 1. x equals to y equals to z equals to 10 x comma y comma z that is 10 comma 10 comma 10 x into y into z that is 1000 rules to write the variable names there are certain rules in python which have to be followed to form valid variable names the rules for valid identifier variable name are a variable name must start with an alphabet, capital or small or an underscore. For example, underscore 87 is correct but an 87 is incorrect. A variable name can consist of alphabets, digits and underscore. No other character is allowed. For example, 87 underscore x is correct variable name but 87 at x is incorrect. A Python keyword cannot be used as a variable name. For example, print cannot be used as the variable name, but print can be used. Some features of variable names in Python are A variable name can be of any length. Variable names are case sensitive. Example, age and age are different variable names. Python 3.x is based on Unicode. Therefore, variable names can contain Unicode characters other than alphabets, digits and underscore as well. For example, is a valid variable name in Python. Examples of some valid variable names are emp code, emp underscore code, emp code, code, underscore emp code. Emp 1001. Emp underscore code 10. Following are examples of some invalid variable names. Students remember these points. A variable is created when it is first assigned a value. A variable must be assigned a value before using it in an expression. A variable refers to an object and is never declared ahead of time. Using a variable a equals to 10 print bracket in a bracket close 10 
a equals to a minus 3. Print bracket in a bracket close. 7. a equals to double quote in 3 double quote close. Print bracket in a bracket close. 3. Students, let us understand operators in Python. An operator is a symbol that acts on the operands and triggers some action. It means that when the operator works on the operands, some action is performed. For example, A plus B. Here A and B are operands and plus is an operator. Arithmetic operators. As the name implies, arithmetic operators are used to perform mathematical operations. A number of operators are available in Python to form arithmetic or algebraic expressions. It can further be classified as Unary operator. It works on a single operand. It can be plus unary or minus unary. For example, A equals to 9. The value assigned to A is plus 9. A equals to minus 9. The value assigned to A is minus 9. Binary operator. It works on two operands. For example, A plus B. Here plus is a binary operator working on A and B. Binary operators can further be classified as Addition. Plus operator is used to return the sum of the values. Subtraction. Minus operator is used to subtract the values. Multiplication. Operator is used to find the product of the data. While dividing, when we use the division operator, decimal or float value is returned. To obtain an integer result, discarding any fractional result during division, we can use the flow division slash slash operator. To obtain the remainder, modulus percentage operator is used. 17 by 3. Hash. Classic division returns a float. 5.66666666666667. 17/slash slash 3. Hash. Flow division discards the fractional part. 5. 17 percentage 3. The division operator returns the remainder of the division. 2. 17 plus 3 minus 6. 14. We can use the exponential or power operator to calculate the power. 12 into into 2 hash 12 squared 144 3 into into 4 hash 3 to the power of 4 81 the assignment operator equal to is used to assign a value to a variable a equals to 10 b equals to a into 10 a plus b 110 Students know that if a variable is being used without assigning a value, that is, if the variable is not defined, it gives an error. Students know that operators with mixed type operands convert the integer operand to floating point. Students, let's know more. Operators are special symbols that carry out arithmetic and logical operation like addition, multiplication and division. The value that the operator operates on is called the operand. Students, let us recapitulate the list of all the operators. Operator, description, examples, plus unary to explicitly express a positive number. Value of plus 6 is plus 6. Minus unary to represent a negative number. Value of minus 6 is minus 6. Plus binary to add two numbers. Value of 13 plus 3.5 is 16.5. Asterisk or multiplication to find the product of two numbers. 
Value of 6.2 into 6 is 37.2. Division. To find the quotient when one value is divided by the other. Value of 5 by 2 is 2.5. Value of minus 5 by 2 is minus 2.5. Value of 10.0 by 3 is 3.3333. 3333333335 slash slash floor division to find the integer part of the quotient when one number is divided by the other the result is the quotient in which the digits after the decimal point are removed value of 5 slash slash 2 is 2 Value of minus 5 slash slash 2 is minus 2. Value of 10.0 slash slash 3 is 3.0. Percentage. It returns the remainder when one value is divided by the other. Value of 3 percentage 2 is 1. Value of 10 percentage 6 is 4. Value of 6 percentage 10 is 6. Value of 10.3 percentage 3.2 is 0 0.7. Asterisk, asterisk, exponent to raise a number of the power of another number. Value of 2 into into 3 is 8. Value of 3 into into minus 2 is 0 0.11111111111111. Value of 10.2 into into 3.1 is 1338.6299344200029. Operators in a string. We can use plus and multiplication operators in a string. Plus operator is termed as concatenation when used with strings. In such case, it is used to concatenate or join two or more strings. Example, first equals to double quote in good, double quote close. Second is equal to double quote in morning, double quote close. Print, bracket in first plus second bracket close. Good morning. We can use the multiplication operator to repeat the occurrence of a string number of times. Example, print bracket in double quote and kips double quote close into 5 bracket close kips, 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 kips. Recapitulating the operators with examples. A equals 200. Print Bracket in A, bracket close, 100. A equals to minus 100. Print, bracket in A, bracket close, minus 100. Print, bracket in, double quote in 30 plus 10, equals to double quote close, comma, 30 plus 10, bracket close. 30 plus 10 equals to 40. Print bracket in double quote in 30 minus 10 equals to double quote close, comma, 30 minus 10, bracket close, 30 minus 10 equals to 20. Print bracket in double quote in 30 into 10 equals to double quote close, comma, 30 into 10, bracket close, 30 into 10 equals to 300. Print bracket in double quote in 31 by 10 equals to double quote close, comma, 31 by 10 bracket close. 31 divided by 10 is equal to 3.1. Print bracket in double quote in 31 slash slash 10 equals to double quote close, comma, 31 slash slash 10 bracket close. 31 slash slash 10 equals to 3. Print bracket in double quote in 31 percentage 10 equals to double quote close, comma, 31 percentage 10 bracket close. 31 percentage 10 equals to 1. Print bracket in double quote in 2 into into 4 equals to double quote close, comma, 2 into into 4 bracket close. 
2 into into 4 equals to 16. Print bracket in double quote in welcome plus back colon double quote close comma welcome plus back bracket close. Welcome plus back welcome back. Print bracket in double quote in welcome into 3 double quote close comma welcome into 3 bracket close. Single quote in welcome single quote close into 3 welcome welcome welcome. Students let us understand about operator precedence. If an expression contains only one operator then it can be evaluated very easily. But if an expression contains more than one operator, then to evaluate it, we have to be careful about the sequence in which the operations have to be performed. The precedence of an operator tells the compiler the order in which the operators should be evaluated. Following is the order or precedence of operators. Operator symbol name main parenthesis asterisk asterisk exponent plus minus unary plus unary minus asterisk division slash slash percentage multiplication division floor division modulus plus minus addition subtraction High precedence operators are operated before the lower precedence operators. When an expression contains operators which have the same precedence, like asterisk and division, then whichever operator comes first is evaluated first. Parenthesis can be used to override the order or precedence and force some part of the expression to be evaluated before others. Use board mass brackets of divide multiply add subtract rule. Evaluate the following expressions. Number 1. 15 plus 15 into 2 minus 10 by 12. Number 2. 15 plus 5 into 2 minus 10 by 2. Students, let's know more. Precedence of operators means the order in which the operators will be evaluated or used in an expression. Board mass rule is followed while evaluating an expression. Solved programs. Write a program to find out the area and perimeter of a rectangle with length 5 and breadth 6. L equals to 5. B equals to 6. Area equals to L into B. P equals to 2 into L plus B. Print, bracket in, double quote in, parameter of a rectangle equals to, double quote close, P, bracket close. Parameter of a rectangle is equal to 22. Print, bracket in, double quote in, area of a rectangle is equal to, double quote close, area, bracket close. Area of a rectangle is equal to 30. Write a program to print your computer book name five times. Python print bracket in double quote in kips double quote close into five bracket close. Kips, 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 kips. Write a program to find the sum of square of two numbers. A equals to 10, B equals to 20. Print bracket in double quote in sum of square of numbers is equal to double quote close a into a plus b into b bracket close. Sum of square of numbers is equal to 500. Comments. Comments are the statements in a script that are ignored by the Python interpreter and therefore have no effect on the actual output of the code. Comments make the code more readable and easy to understand. These are not necessary for a script but are highly recommended if the script is too complex or if it is to be reviewed by multiple people over an interval of time. Two types of comments can be added to a Python script. These are 
सिंगल लाइन कमेंस मल्टी लाइन कमेंस अ सिंगल लाइन कमेंस स्टार्ट विद अश एनी वेर इन लाइन एंड एक्सटेंड टिल द एंड ऑफ द लाइन द फॉलोइंग कोर्ट कंटेन्स टू सिंगल लाइन कमेंस हैश दिस इज अंगल लाइन कमेंट ए इक्वल्स टू हंड्रेड बी इक्वल्स टू ए प्लस फिफ्टी हैश वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स प्लस वन इज असाइन टू वाई प्रिंट बी A multi-line comment starts and ends with triple quotes, either single quotes or double quotes, separated by single spaces. The following quote contains one multi-line comment. Double quotes, double quotes, double quotes. This is a multi-line comment. The comment ends here. Double quote, double quote, double quote. A equals two hundred. Print A. Input main function. Input main function is used to accept the value for a variable from the user. A equals to input bracket in double quote in enter the publisher colon double quote close bracket close. Enter the publisher kips. In Python, input main function takes one string argument. This means that whatever value is being entered by the user will be taken as a string argument, and hence only the string operations can be implemented on it. Students, let us see and understand it through an example. A equals to input bracket in double quote in enter first number colon double quote close bracket close. Enter first number hundred. B equals to input bracket in double quote in enter second number colon double quote close bracket close enter second number two hundred sum equals to a plus b print bracket in sum bracket close one zero zero two zero zero this happened because the plus operator here is working on the strings being entered by the user. Remember, input main function takes only the string argument. Okay, students, let us see another example. A equals to input bracket in double quote in enter first number colon double quote close bracket close. Enter first number hundred. B equals to input bracket in double quote in enter second number colon double quote close bracket close. Enter second number two hundred. Pro equals to a into b. Type error. Can't multiply sequence by non-integer of type string. Students, have you noticed that the error got raised when you try to multiply the string variables? So, does it mean that we cannot work with the user's input in any other form? Well, Python provides the solution for it as well. We can use integer main or float main along with input main to convert the string into integer or float as required by the program. Okay, students, let us understand it through an example. A equals to int bracket in input bracket in double quote in enter first number colon double quote close bracket close bracket close enter first number hundred. B equals to integer bracket in input bracket in double quote in enter second number colon double quote close bracket close bracket close enter second number two hundred. Pro equals to a into b. Python print bracket in pro bracket close twenty thousand. Hands on experience number one program to calculate area of triangle. Height equals to integer bracket in input bracket in double quote in enter the height colon double quote close bracket close bracket close enter the height six base equals to integer bracket in input bracket in double quote in enter the base colon double quote close bracket close bracket close enter the base two area equals to bracket in height into base bracket close divided by two. Print bracket in double quote in the area of triangle is double quote close comma area bracket close semicolon. The area of triangle is six.
Number 2. Program to swap two numbers. A equals to integer. Bracket in input. Bracket in double quote in enter first number. Colon double quote close. Bracket close. Bracket close. Enter first number. 100. B equals to integer. Bracket in input. Bracket in double quote in enter second number. Colon double quote close. Bracket close. Bracket close. Enter second number. 200. C equals to A, A equals to B, B equals to C. Print bracket in, double quote in, the swapped numbers are, double quote close, A, B, bracket close. The swapped numbers are 200, 100. Glossary Problem solving. The process of formulating a problem, finding a solution and expressing the solution. Portability. A property of the program that can run on more than one computers. Interpret. To execute a program in a high level language by translating it line by line. Source code. A program written in a high level language before being compiled. Object code. The output of the compiler after it translates the program. Prompt. Characters displayed by the interpreter to indicate that it is ready to take the input from the user. Script. A program stored in a file. Interactive mode. A way of using the Python interpreter by typing commands and expressions at the prompt. Script mode. A way of using the Python interpreter to read and execute statements in a script. Syntax, the set of rules, principles and processes that governs the structure of a program. Okay students, let us take a recap of this chapter. Python is an open source, free to use and platform independent language. Idle Python shell works in two modes, interactive mode and script mode. Interactive mode gives prompt output for any given command. Whereas in script mode, commands can be saved for later use. The extensions of Python program file is .py. Python is an interpreter language and is case sensitive. Python's interactive interpreter is called Python shell. The value as well as type of variable can be changed during the program execution. Print main is used to display output on the screen. To repeat the string output, multiplication characters is used.